Hey there guys, if you watched the last video you'll know that today's project is not only a follow up to the Steambox build but really the inspiration behind it and what is fastly becoming a very very late Christmas present for my wife. Going to be building a fishing net, some people call it a landing net uh, using steam bent wood and for this build I'm going to be using some old barn wood that my wife got from her aunt Susie back in Tennessee from a barn that was like 150, 200 years old that was taken down as well as some mesquite wood that was harvested behind my house and has been used in several projects, uh, some of which you have seen. So I feel like it's got a little bit of the old world family and uh, the new family uh, tied into it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got the steam box ready to go, or almost ready to go. I just gotta put the steamer on it and uh, we'll start building. So I transferred the outline to a piece of rigid foam and then wrapped the net around it just to see how it would hang. And it looks like it's just about the right size. However, I'm not really crazy about this shape. So I think what I'm gonna do is just transfer this to the wood, modify the shape just a little bit to where I like. This one on top is the original and you can see the one on bottom just has a little bit wider of a leading edge, which is the scooping portion of the net. And then I just continued it down here a little bit wider. And overall, I think I'm much happier with the shape. And then this line down here is uh, gonna show where my handle material, which will probably be mesquite or oak or maybe a combination, uh, will come in and the bent pieces of wood will kind of laminate around uh, the handle right there. And all this will be open. So here's the strips of wood I just cut on the table saw. Each of these is just over an eighth of an inch thick, so I, when I laminate them together, they should be roughly about half an inch thick, and they are gonna be bent around the form and make up the uh, hooped section of the fishing net. Uh, these two outer sections are the oak that I got from the barn that was torn down from my wife's aunt in Tennessee. And then I believe this middle section is purple heart. Uh, I don't know the background of it, but I just figured it'd be a nice little accent uh, when this all gets laminated up. So right now I'm gonna throw them in a PVC pipe so they can soak for a few hours. And then after that, I'll throw them in the steamer, bend them around, and hopefully in a couple days, I'll have a fishing net. two pieces of that mesquite I cut and I'm going to join them with some epoxy so that they'll be wide enough to match up with the lower portion of the mold. They'll eventually get cut pretty thin down here because I'm planning on letting these strips go all the way down the handle and then I'm going to try to join them where this little uh, discoloration kind of meets in the middle. I think it looks kind of cool but if it doesn't end up looking uh, that cool I'll just flip it over and uh, have it show the other way. Uh, 
I don't have a bunch of fancy clamps, but I'm pretty confident these Harbor Freight Specials will do the trick. finally hit the most critical juncture in this project. The strips of wood are almost finished steaming in the steam box and the form is pretty much ready to go. I've got all my clamps in place and I hot glued the middle portion of my handle material in place. That way I can be able to bend the wood around here, clamp to it and nothing will slide around. And the last thing I should point out is I read online a lot of people had success with a flexible piece of metal. Uh, around the main portion of the bend to kind of keep the wood tight as well as protect it from uh, the clamps causing little dents. So that is what I'm also going to use and uh, I think the next clip you'll see me bending the wood around it. Well let's go check on the steam box. It has been steaming out here for about 30 minutes or so and we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah. So let me close it up. I'll give it a few more minutes and then uh, we'll get to forming. Well, that was stressful, but for the most part, I think it went pretty smoothly. I did end up with the start of a crack on this outer uh, oak section up here, uh, but I think once this fully dries, I'll be able to take the banding off and just rub some glue in there, let it set up, and I think it'll end up being fine uh, to make it to the laminating process. And I also did have a start of a crack down here where it starts to bend inwards towards the handle, but again, I'll do the same thing. And the next thing I wanted to point out is you might have noticed the green inside of this uh, aluminum strip. And the reason I did that is just to prevent the aluminum from uh, causing any discoloration to the wood that I might not be able to get out. So I'll let this set up overnight, take it all apart, and get it ready for gluing. So fast forward a couple of days and what you see right here is everything glued and clamped into place. I used a total of 37 different clamps to keep everything nice and tight. And the reason I didn't film this is because I started realizing that uh, because I was going to be using this polyurethane Gorilla Glue and having to mist the pieces of wood uh, with a little bit of water, I just kind of felt like it was going to be a really messy process as well as the fact uh, you can see that I don't have it clamped over my form that is here in the background. And the reason for that was because I didn't have enough plastic wrap to put over the form and I just decided to do it on this uh, instead because it's kind of just a sacrificial piece of uh, insulation. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna take the clamps off now and see how everything turned out. Pretty. Well, let me get this sanded out and uh, we'll see what it's uh, looking like. So with a little bit of sanding is definitely starting to look the part of a fishing net. 
The next thing I need to do is to cut a little groove on the outer portion of the hoop section to allow the net thread to kind of be recessed a little bit. And for that, I've got my router mounted on a little makeshift uh, stand with all these scrap pieces of wood. And that is going to allow me to kind of run the perimeter of the hoop just like that. And I've got a little V groove router bit uh, because I didn't have the specialty bit uh, that you would normally use on something like this to cut the channel. But I think it's going to work pretty well as long as I just keep a lot of downward pressure on it and go real nice and slow. Well, we're finally at the last phase of this build, and that is going to be weaving the net to the hooped portion of the frame. And for that, I'm gonna be using some really thin paracord that I removed the core out of to make it just a little bit thinner. And I'm not gonna really show you weaving the entire net because I think this is gonna take me well over an hour. But the process will be to feed the paracord through one of the holes, loop it around one of the net uh, hanger loops, and then pull it tight and then just repeat the process all the way around. And when all is said and done, that paracord's gonna fit nicely in that little recessed portion. And that's kind of gonna be what it's gonna look like. Well guys, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. I am super thrilled with the way this turned out. I'm sure I already showed you some clips of it up close, but there it is again. Uh, one thing I did not cover in the build was adding the little hollow uh, pin material on the handle. And the reason I added that was just to allow for a, a piece of rope or something to be put in there to make it like a little lanyard for your wrist. Uh, but anyway, super awesome. I love the fact that it has kind of an heirloom quality with the uh, mesquite from the land behind our house here, as well as the old barn wood from my wife's aunt. And uh, anyway, I just think it's cool. I hope this maybe inspires you to do something similar. Uh, I have already started on another net for my father-in-law that is going to be extra special. I'm going to do a couple other things to it. Um, but uh, also I want to say thank you to Scott at Kiawa Garage Works on Instagram. Uh, he gave me tons of uh, pointers and he was the original inspiration for this. As well as I want to say thanks to uh, Riverbend Woodworks. Um, he has a video making a very similar net to this. He's made lots of different nets and I also got some tips from his so I'll put a link to that video in case you want to uh, you know watch these videos maybe build one for yourself and if you're not into fishing uh, perhaps you could uh, use a steam box like this to bend a pickleball paddle or something like that <laughs> so anyway I appreciate you guys watching give this a thumbs up if you liked it um, and we will see you on the next one I have some rainwater harvesting stuff that will probably be the next video or two as well as some other kind of random things and then I'll be back to the travel trailer project <laughs>